Is Horizon the character you play the most? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, if you're asking that because you thought that was a battle, I kind of agree, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like Horizon a lot. So the rule is uh, we don't want to throw Horizon Ultimate on people who are full unless they are in a horrible spot. If people are in a corner somewhere, if they're here and you're outside this door, then throwing it at this door is insane because they're just pinched into a small area and they're gonna get punished by it no matter what. Otherwise, it should always be broke because every time you just dump it on somebody, all it takes is like a couple bullets and they're just gonna slide away from your nades, you know? It's like as if it didn't even happen at all when you play like that. What's up guys, I'm trying some new content out where I show highlights of the coaching sessions I have with people on stream. I'm looking to bring a more educational approach to my content now and I hope that this will help people out and bring entertainment as well. If you'd like to get coached, I do coach on Medify at medify.gg slash serial. The link will also be in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching. What do you feel like your biggest weaknesses slash like strengths are as a player? Mm, biggest weakness is like, uh, like playing with the team, I would say, like knowing when like the refrag or like when to like be aggressive and stuff like that. Cause I feel like my mechanics are pretty solid at this point, but just like, it's like knowing when to like, when to capitalize then like other strengths, I guess. My IGLing can be good if I'm like, feel like I'm taking it seriously, but I need to just like be a lot more consistent about doing it, if that makes sense. The way I want you to view Horizon is using the term slippery. The reason why I say that is Think about every good horizon you fight, they're slippery. They're not just standing, shooting you in a corner. Right. They're most likely flying around, abusing your passive, abusing your Q. So the rule is uh, we don't want to throw horizon ultimate on people who are full unless they are in a horrible spot. If people are in a corner somewhere, if they're here and you're outside this door, then throwing it at this door is insane because they're just pinched into a small area and they're gonna get punished by it no matter what. Otherwise, it should always be broke because every time you just dump it on somebody, all it takes is like a couple bullets and they're just gonna slide away from your nades, you know? It's like as if it didn't even happen at all when you play like that. Whereas if instead you throw a horizon on somebody who's broke, if they're sitting here popping a bat, you know, and now they get to drop their bat, shoot it, and then as you're doing that, you know, dump your ult, grenades and then you fall on them and then start fighting them while they're breaking your ult so you like checkmated them when you play it like that you kind of like force their hand to like have no good option like, they're just gonna lose no matter what yeah i still don't really know why i threw that ult <laughs> i mean like i'm not like that probably looked really really bad but i don't know i don't know uh well like again sometimes you know, being lazy no i mean right that's part of it for sure but, like so i throw dry ults too like the ults with no damage just like oh, hopefully that is good Sometimes I do too, but I think that if you try to follow that rule, rule them more or less, then it'll pan out a lot better. For Q, I would say only Q on things that are free, because it's free up here. Like if there's nobody contesting you, then you just come up here to Q, like it's fine. If there's a guy in height, you can Q up, but it's pretty scary taking a Q when a guy can just see your thing before you do when you Q. You can see that you're gonna come up before you have a chance to fight him. And this still isn't even that good, even though Horizon got nerfed. Like, this still kind of sucks for the guy in height sometimes. But I would say in general it's a losing battle. I would try and stay away from it. The other aspect of Q is, this is like the part that makes you like really slippery. When you're hurt, instead of just queuing without any purpose, instead of like if you're fighting a guy and he swings you and puts you low, let me go hurt myself and actually can show me popping a bat. So if you're like playing a corner and you're fighting this guy, then he hurts you, then he swings you here. Just pop that, go in your queue, and then fly out. Which is like pretty simple, but it's just a win is like the most important part. Mm -hmm. So don't take Q like mid fight just cause. And the whole team's just gonna look at you and kill you in your queue. <laughs> like when somebody jumps on you and dueling him is 100% the worst choice, then you should pop Q and pop it bad and go in your, in your queue. And that's like the rule of thumb for Qs. Q to get on height. Q to like go up, horizontal with the guy in height, throw nades on him. Q to get away from a guy who's gonna beat you in a duel. Like all those reasons are good reasons. Anything else is probably gonna get you killed most of the time. Also for the slippery thing is like movement. I don't know if you know like lurch strafing is, but not just that. Uh, I mean, I don't do it, but like I, I... Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like good on horizon, but kind of like she doesn't dead side. It just feels like she doesn't dead side as much, at least to me. But doing this like rocking motion can be pretty sick. Like where you like jump and then crouch and go into a side. Like an MK, you can even like cap strafe in a certain direction after you do it too. Like get back around somewhere. 
So something I'll do a lot is like, you'll see a lot of horizons like kind of rocking into their fight. I'll do this a lot and then I'll go into like a queue after like my momentum is dead. That's like a way to be slippery instead of like always just one dimensional like just doing stuff like this. Right. Dead, like approaching it like this. Abusing your passive is good too, but that's kind of just like when you can because you know you can't always do it. Sliding off of stuff. This tech, I don't even know if it's called a tech, but it's like when you get to a ledge, you can insta slide off. Like as long as you're, you know, far enough away. If you just hold slide. I have auto sprint on, so, or off, so I'm always holding shift. But yeah, shift and then just sliding off on the edge is like really good to like get more momentum fast in a fight. I do this a lot of times, like when I'm approaching somebody. But you can also do like a instant climb this side. It's like a thing too. But yeah, like abusing all the sliding stuff and then abusing like tap strafing in your Q then you'll like move around and be a lot more harder target to kill oh definitely be careful about your positioning let's be more conscious of where we're putting ourselves in a when we're peeking when you take this first peek here if they hard contested you here you just die like there's nowhere to run like you're just gonna get caught going right and then just die like you're not gonna oh, be able right, to yeah. you're not gonna be able to slide either because they're shooting you so this could have really been the end of the game for you, right here. <laughs> just choosing to peek here. Like, we want to give ourselves, like, wiggle room when we peek. So with that being yeah, like said... The railing to the right, maybe? Better. Yeah, so it's like, where can we peek to where, if it sucks, I can just leave the angle and I'm fine. Here, your closest cover is jumping off to the left or jumping off to the right. So it's like, no matter what here, you're pretty much dead. You know, you know, like, is the game going to work like that every time? No, but it's something that yeah, we can see exactly. without it actually punishing the, someone punishing you. Right, right. Where is okay, well, he just did the he just what did the thing I was explaining to you on the railing. So <laughs> yeah. there you go. There's, oh, this is old city right here. I'm gonna be honest. So yeah, earlier we were talking about okay, let's not just dump a roll randomly when we don't have damage. Here is like, there's there's exceptions to all the Apex rules, because Apex just is not that straightforward. There's that, uh, so much RNG things happen in this game. So right here, if we just dump ult on the side of the statue, throw nades, if you dump ult left, throw nades left, everybody swings right, this team's so fucked. They're, they're insanely dead here. But, as a horizon, I need you to understand the scenarios where that's happening. So them being on this little small statue and then not screaming to you like, bro, this is Horizon old fucking mania here. Like I'm about to go huge. Like that's kind of like a problem with your understanding of the character. We want to make sure. Uh, I, I, I guess I was just concerned that they were going to come up the zip backside, but like, I guess we just should just get eyes on them. Well, if the team behind you walks up and you don't kill this team in front of you, you're the meat of the sandwich. Oh, true. true. So it's like... No matter what, you might as well just kill the team in front of you, cripple them, and then fight the team behind you. That's like the only way you get out of this shit sandwich. Yeah, you have like three armor swaps to play to them? Yeah. Because yeah, you're worried about the team behind you, but you're pinched, so it's like the logic doesn't really do you justice there. Ah, uh, we're holding ult for so long. I think too, the way to never hold ult is to have a, like a plentiful thought process. Like, I don't really know, that's a weird way to explain it, but... Whenever you get your ult, just think the first good opportunity I see, I'm dumping it. Mm -hmm. Instead of like the perfect opportunity, I'm going to use it. Because that's what happens to a lot of people. And when they see the stars align, they're like, oh my god, Gibby ult's about to go insane. I'm about to kill 10 people. <laughs> but they could have thrown it 10 times, you know, earlier in the game. Right, right. So yeah, try not to be like that type of player. I'm sure it's not on purpose, but let's just lean more into like, got my ult guy here who needs to be ulted. You're getting ulted. Just, yeah, it doesn't need to be a triple person ult. You know? Right, and it was gonna be if you did it earlier, granted. You're really gonna hit all of them on that statue, but... Yeah, definitely don't hold it for too long. Like, I... Good gameplay is gonna be... In ranked, at least, is just gonna be burning it in, like, the first appropriate fight, see? Right. And comp is a little different, but... Flushed. 
Okay, so my question is... Why not her as an ult? Yeah, what makes you not think like... <laughs> again, I feel like there's scenarios where it's like... As a Horizon, you're supposed to think you're all fucked because you guys put yourself in your, this scenario. But I noticed you don't like realize that as often as you could be, you know? Like, now they're pointing it out, I'm sure you'll realize it more, but... Yeah, it's like when people are in a corner, they're just pinched in a bad spot. Ump that shit. Uh, I think literally after this fight, I'm like, wow, I should have Horizon ulted. That's like, I'm starting to recognize it now, but like, I, have to bat. Mm. I need to start actually doing it. Yeah, I just need to like see, oh, bad spot, or oh, just instantaneous. And then the fight just gets easy from that point. Ulting these guys. Feel like on the right. Okay. <laughs> nice. nice, you should. I wonder if I did that every, every game. <laughs> yeah. He's got the brand. Okay, so in this scenario, I will say that your teammate ran up grieved for sure. Um, <laughs> Let's go. But. Even with that, you could have played it in a way that's more accordingly to help you survive too. So, in this spot, the stairs is like your thing you're wavering over the other team. Like, you can go up and peek, or you can unpeek and go down the stairs. Mm -hmm. So, once you commit to his knockdown, you're stuck there dying or winning, right? So, right, right. I don't think a chance of you winning are very good here since it's already 3v2. But like, getting in and getting a trade, like, okay, cool, but. If the other guy just swings me, I lose, which is really what happened. Right, right. If we... And think about, like, <clears throat> everything you did in this fight. Could it not have just happened from the stairs? Yep, LeBron. Could you not have... Like, played the head glitch? Yeah, like, this guy right here? Could you not have killed this guy from stairs? And then this guy right here? Could you not have avoided him from stairs? You know, it's like... Everything was possible from the stairs. We just put ourselves in a more vulnerable position for no reason. I think the... Apex players in general feel like the closer I am, the easier it's gonna be. When in reality, it's like, well, not really actually. Team's pushing close. On a zip, look zip. Okay. Got him. Oh, yeah, I can spot a rat to pred when I see him. Okay. Yeah, bro, these oh, are not real people. <laughs> this rank system is too far gone. I'm inside, there's two inside, there's two inside. Okay, Brother, your utility, man. <laughs> you got a freaking ult that sucks people in. <laughs> yeah, they... Again, like... Think, like, make your character, like, your gameplay. Like, that's your personality is. Use Q, use ult, you use all that stuff. Use your passive, you're annoying. You play like you're the training dummy, you know, it's just gun everybody down and it's like obviously you can win playing like that but you could just make the game so much easier and more fun and recording that too gotcha yeah i see how when you throw ult on people who are healthy they just insta break it they don't really do anything mm -hmm. You have your ult. Trying to heal up, heal for me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna bat, I'm gonna bat. <laughs> no, I didn't see it. <laughs> Can't change it at this point. Again. No, I know. Keep healing up if you can. And you just okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think again, like. If we play this character every day, it's like Dude, what am I not realizing that we should be using our utility is kind of like a big oversight. Right, Just right. like make your entire gameplay your character, you know, instead of I shoot people in this game. Drop on this guy. Yeah. Pathfinder in this room with me. I can try and open the door for him on him. Yeah, queuing doors kind of sucks. Yeah, so are you not supposed? I don't know. I I feel like I've done it once, right? Then like I've tried to replicate. It and are you just not supposed to do that? Like to get people off doors? I mean, you take them off the door, but 
you can't go through it because there's a queue. Right, right. That's kind of like, because I, like, I get what you're going for. It's just that I think in reality, if your goal is to kill that guy on that door, kicking it is what's going to get you to it. Okay. Not necessarily playing Q. Q is like a delaying utility when you're throwing it down, like in ways like that. Like you throw it in a doorway, on a door, whatever it may be. But yeah, I don't think it's really good to be aggressive throwing it at a door. <laughs> Alright, I think it was good. You got a lot of stuff learned out of it. Like Horizon, just perfecting Horizon or working on your Horizon in general is definitely the takeaway. Understanding when to ult correctly, makes you have more movement. Because you play very one-dimensional or very linear on Horizon and we want to be like unpredictable, you know? Sometimes we fly at them and lurch strafe and bounce around. Sometimes we just play our space and ult up, you know? We want to do both. I think of any character, just a character where like you're pushing your boundaries, it should be this character. Like this is the character you do that on. On like, you know, Seer, it's like, nah, you're supposed to just kind of play correctly for the most part. I don't know, and I definitely want to like push your boundaries more with ults, like what ults you could be throwing, just how aggressive you are in general, all type of stuff. Awesome. Yeah, man. Well, uh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Of course, of course.